So I found this map today. Apparently I have played it before. I really don't remember it, though. It might have been a long time ago. But 100 Largest Cities of Canada. I'm assuming that he, uh, Simi, I think, created uh, the U.S. No Blurry map, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, um, I'm assuming that they got the 100 largest municipalities in Canada, which is a list on Wikipedia, and use that, and I don't know, there's got to be at least 10 locations for each of them, I assume, unless maybe, let's say, Toronto or something might have more than, I don't know, Thunder Bay or something, but uh, I'm not sure how, how it's balanced or what types of rounds we get, because I don't remember what it was like last time I played, but I'm going to do this with no time limit or anything, I'm, I want to get a perfect score. So, we are in Manitoba here, we got... Uh, Manitoba plates. I don't think Brandon is in the top uh, 100, so this has to be Winnipeg, doesn't it? Uh, actually, I don't know. Brandon's pretty big. I'm not even sure. I probably should have looked up at the actual list, because I don't know what the smallest city that would be on this. Uh, but it's definitely Winnipeg now, seeing that big building. Um, I'm not sure what the smallest a city would have to be uh, to get on that list would be. But we're at Rory and, uh, hell, can't even read that. Bannatine and Rory. Okay, so we're downtown, obviously, um, north of, of uh, the taller buildings, which I guess the taller ones are probably right around Portage and Maine. I believe that's the famous intersection. Uh, Rory's here, Bannatine or whatever it is is there, and I don't remember where I started, actually. Um... Which way did I go? So I went west and I got to Rory. So we're on John Hirsch Place around there. Let's pinpoint it, get it perfect. Uh, why is that building? Oh, I guess that's the parking lot there. So we're about there. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty quick. Uh, I don't think this one will be as easy. Uh, looks like we're probably in Ontario. Not sure. Let's look at these. Uh, do I get it? Uh, do I see an area code? No, I don't. I don't think we're in New York. Um, so that guy's shirt is geographically inaccurate. Um, well, I'm assuming he probably maybe bought it in New York, so it might have been geographically accurate when he bought it, but not where he's wearing it here. Ontario Tech U. I don't. I don't know what that is. Anyway, we're on Highway 22 here. Um, so this could be. I think. Most of the Toronto suburbs are in the top 100 biggest cities. Um, 416 area code, that's a Toronto area code, so it could be Toronto, it could be a suburb. Um, I guess the best option now is just look for Highway 22, Bailey Street. What way is it going? It's going east, a little bit north, so based on the angle, it's probably not Mississauga or Brampton, so it could be Toronto... Uh, Vaughan, Richmond Hill, Markham, I believe Oshawa's big too, Pickering and Ajax are probably big, and Whitby, I'm not sure exactly if all four of these, would, or all three of these would fit, Oshawa definitely would fit in the top 100, but let's look for 22, I'm going to look around like Vaughan and uh, Richmond Hill in this area first, actually I don't see it, so maybe I'll have to look more in Toronto, actually it seems like the highway numbers stop in the city of Toronto. Is that correct? Yeah, it looks like it. So, other than the actual freeways, it seems like... I never noticed that before. Okay. Uh, so, 22 is what we're looking for, isn't it? Yeah, because I don't see that. Maybe I'll have to actually look for Bailey Street. Um... I don't think these have much of a pattern, do they? I don't know. I can't see... Oh, maybe it's just not marked on the map for Toronto. Uh, I don't know. It's probably not the case. Uh, the angle, yeah, can't be... Can't be like Oakville or anything, Burlington, any of those. It has to be... And I guess if the streets don't have numbers, or if they don't have the highway numbers in Toronto, it has to be Vaughan, Richmond Hill, or Markham, or maybe one of these. Actually, let's look. Oh, there we go. It is either Pickering, Ajax, or Whitby, I guess. How far does this go? Actually, it goes, could be Oshawa, too. Um, that's Bloor Street. Isn't Bloor Street, like, 
part, uh, it goes to downtown, I believe, uh, downtown Toronto. Okay, Bailey Street's here. There we go. I should have looked here earlier then. What was the one we're on here? Oh, Kitney. That's what I was just looking at here, right? Yeah, commercial. And there's that Wendy's that I started near. So we got the Wendy's, we got a townhouse thing, and then we got this one here. Uh, so we are about there. There's a bus stop too. That's where that New York guy was, I think. Okay, let's move on. That took a bit too long, and I think this might be easier because we got... Oh, never mind. I thought we had a place name on that sign, but we don't. Um, again, I'm not sure how how this is balanced. Like, if uh, each city has an equal number of locations. Uh, but, so, downtown. Why does it just keep saying downtown? It's not saying what city it is. Okay, well, we're in Ontario here. 406 is a freeway, because it's the 400 series, I believe, is what they're referred to. I'm not actually sure where 406 is, though. Uh, okay, so it's probably St. Catharines. I believe Wellington's too small. I don't think it's in the top 100, and I think these buildings are too... Or not Wellington, Welland, I believe that's what it's called, right? Yeah, Welland. Uh, but yeah, we're probably in St. Catharines here. And apparently we're downtown, St. Paul Street and... Well, St. Paul is the main one. I can't tell. Oh, St. Paul and Court. Okay. So, St. Paul is going uh, southwest pretty much to be... Okay, yeah, so it's this big one and then Court... Court Alley, Court Street. So, were we in the alley or... No, we were on St. Paul actually, right here. Oh, there's two Court Streets. Pretty much between the two, I guess, so we're about there. Yep, there we go. This is going well so far. My apologies for the background noise. As usual, there's the beeping from the trucks at the construction site, and then I don't know what the hell that grinding noise was. Um, historic downtown once again, so that's not very helpful. Um, I'm not really sure. I think this is Ontario again. I just saw those the uh, street signs. Yeah, these signs look like an Ontario thing, and it does look like one of those older cities. I don't think it's a suburb of Toronto this time. York Region, where's that? Wait, York Region, isn't that just Toronto itself? Might be wrong, no. Yeah, because isn't there like York and then there's North York is there. I thought this is York, yeah, here. Maybe York Region is something else then. Oh, it's just, this is just a neighborhood in Toronto. I don't know what the hell it looks like, there's a hill there. I don't have hills in Toronto. I don't know. Um, okay, let's look for some other clues. That's probably going to be my best clue, though, uh, until I get, like, a highway number or something. Um, New Market, there we go. Okay. So I guess York Region is not what I was thinking it was. New Market is there, and we're downtown again. Um, I kind of like how... It's right in the middle of the city, so it's more so about, like, finding the actual city itself. It's not so much of a struggle finding the streets once you find the city. So Main Street and Timothy is going to be downtown somewhere. Oh, there's Botsford. I saw that earlier. So it was a bit farther south than I thought. Oh, I guess this is the older downtown there. Yeah, because this is, like, big box stores or something, or strip malls at least, or I don't know. Anyway, we're down there, and do we start right at the intersection? Just a bit south around here. There we go. That's a bit too far north, but I got it. That's the point. The important thing, this is Vancouver. Can I do this? No moving. I think I can. Uh, it's Kingsway, near the curve in Kingsway, which I believe is around uh, Knight Street or something. I don't really go in this area very much. It's not... It's not an in, uh, area that I'm not interested in, really, and I don't really like this area that much. Uh, actually, no, it's Fraser. Did I say Fraser? I said Knight, I think. Um, okay, I think we're around here. No. Wait a minute. I might have to move here, uh, move around to get this perfect, unless if I want to waste a lot of time, which I don't think is necessary. Let's do it. Let's move around. Let's... Oh, this is uh, Mount St. Joseph's Hospital. Okay, anyway, it's over here then. That's too far, too far east. We're here. I guess that's Guelph Street. Um, yeah, we're right about there. Let's go here, just just for the sake of moving. 
since I, I'm not going to move my actual guess, but let's see what's, uh, screw it, never mind, I'm just going to guess. I was just trying to get to this intersection here because they have some new new developments going on there, but there we go. Um, so the final round, it could have been quicker. If I was um, more worried about getting, just getting a, a quick time, I would have obviously looked around to begin with. I was just trying to see if I could do it, no moving, panning, or zooming in the final round, but I couldn't. Uh, I probably could have if I wanted to spend a lot of time, but uh, the hospital uh, is what helped me. And then, but obviously, if I was moving around, I would have just looked for the street names, the cross street there. But uh, yeah, that was very quick. Um, but I do like this map. I'll definitely play it again because it seems to have a lot of locations, uh, over a thousand apparently. We yeah, have three in Ontario, which is to be expected, even if it is balanced, uh, so each city gets an equal chance of being put in. Most of them are in Ontario, I think. Probably not most as in a majority, but by far more than any other province. Even Quebec doesn't have that many cities in the top 100, I don't think. Because um, a lot of their cities are a bit smaller. Uh, Ontario has a lot of these big municipalities like like uh, Vaughan and Brampton and stuff that ha have hundreds of thousands of people, I think. Even Ajax is probably... 100,000 or something. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. I'll do more interesting maps like this as well as Battle Royale and Urban World and stuff like that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.